Ta-da! Hey dudes, what's going on? Lusher Seal here. I'm here with a game called The Last Door. Um, I don't really remember where I saw it. I think it was on Reddit, probably. Um, it's apparently a horror game, and it looks like a pixel horror game of some sort. And it's in different seasons. Um, and yeah, I thought, why, not, why not play it? Uh, yeah. So, let's go to Season 1. Pilot, chap pilot Chapter. The Letter. Someone receives a thing. Uh, and I'm just going to play online because that's... Oh. Nobody said it was easy. Hey dudes, what's going on? Luscious Hill here and I'm back with another game. Random game called The Last Door. Um, it's apparently an indie horror game and it's apparently pixely and stuff. Um, I don't really know anything about it. Uh, this is like the first I've gotten. Um, yeah! It's apparently in different seasons and chapters, so I guess let's start from the beginning. Season 1, pilot chapter. The letter, Devitt, receives an unnerving letter. I wish this would faster and yeah, I says. Ah, that's close! Um, new game, I guess. Headphones and darken. Well, okay. I am going to turn on my light. It's kind of daytime at the moment, so I need to take on my headphones for a second. <laughs> it's slightly darker now. I mean, I could shut my blinds. Maybe I'll do that. Spooky. Um, there'll be light from this monitor mainly because, yeah. Uh, fuck full screen. Seems like it must be uh, after after all the things I've seen. Shit, fucking chilly. Oh, do I click? Okay. So it must be a point and click. All right, let's get this. Okay. Oh. After all the things I've done. Whoa, the chair there now. Oh. My life is is on a course that I can't escape from. <coughs> is he gonna hang himself? It's too late for me now. No, I don't want to. Just hope. You could forgive me someday. Oh fuck. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. Well, I just killed a man. Oh, no, no, not gonna skip this. I like the music so far. Something about violins that I really like. Is that it? <laughs> uh. well, I can't skip it anymore, so... Oh, it's done. Okay. Oh, I thought it was done. Now yeah, it's done. Or almost done. Yeah! Oh yeah, this was a Kickstarter game, and you can still donate. I'll leave a link to the website in the thing. October 1891. I always forget that I need to click. Videt Nekoskayet. That's the only thing my dear old friend Anthony Beechworth wrote in his letter. It had been many years since I last heard the sentence. It used to be the motto of the science and ph philosophy group that we secretly ran back when we were in this in the secluded boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind, like simple childhood memories. But it was unusual. The letter would only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. 
I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to the Sussex, to Sussex to the address on the letter. And there it was, the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. Chapter 1, The Letter Wow. Okay, time to point and click. Ah, oh, no. That. Shit. Is there any... Oh. Gonna go over here. What the fuck is that? What the f What the f Oh, it's crows. A murder of crows is eagerly eating something. Can I... Oh. I guess I'll go in here. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's just rubbish. Okay. I'll go in the door, I guess. It's locked from the inside. Ah, shit. Okay. Go to the front door! Which is open, apparently. This is weird. Everything is silent. It's like there's no one living here. Yep. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Whoa! Let's look at the picture. A portrait of Anthony. He looks older than I expected. My coat. What is this? A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and, much to our regret, we have no further choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years, but at your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Hmm. My, my grandfather clock is the only sound around here. Is there anything else? I'm going to this room. Before I go upstairs. Ooh, spooky sounds. Um, let's look at this. A drinks cabinet with glasses, some crystal bottles, and a matchbox. Fireplace. Uh, looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. What is this table? A large window is wide open, letting in. Yeah, ooh. A gramophone it looks rusty. Did I read that right? I don't know. Look at that. A stuffed deer head. I'm a bit scared. A landscape painting. Also a landscape painting. I find landscape paintings to be boring. Maybe it's just me being a douche. You just made it more crooked. Ah oh, man. A landscape painting. Let's look at this thing. A small plant brings some life to this place. Uh, let's go through this door because I went. I was the first door apart from the other one. Can I go in it, please? Uh, some, some toiletries. There's nothing of interest in these drawers. It's a bed, it's a chamber pot, an empty bowl. Oh, okay. Something used to feed a pet. March 5th, 1891. Master made us get rid of our religious object. What's going on with him? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I can't pray every night without it. March 18th, 1891. Master has been complaining about Alfie. Uh, what would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I can't let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, who knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about the master. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. September 15, 1981. I mean, 1891. Uh, Mr. Beechworth is spending his whole day locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Oh, shit. Oh, you can do something with the window. Does the cat come? The window won't stay open. It looks like the wood is giving up. I need some sort of cord. Ah, no. Okay, I need to keep that in mind. In the wall, I can see the trace of a crucifix that was hanging there for years, and now it's gone. There's a hole here. There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. If I go to it, can I look in it? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. To another room! I'll go in this door, I guess. Should I, like, be closing doors? It's padlocked. Da-da-da-da-da-da! 
Yeah, let's get through this door. Uh, there's food, a plate with some old, days old leftovers. There's a stove or something, yeah, stoves. Uh, plates and pans, let's go over here. I need like a cord, come on. What is this, a variety of cooking ingredients. There's a random door. <gasps> door. An unlocked door. Oh, what? Oh! Hey guys! Hey crows! What if I go to the crow? Oh shit! Okay. I'm just gonna leave now. Bye. Okay. What if I like throw food at them? Whatever. I'm gonna go upstairs now. I think. Whew. Unless I can go down here. The only way upstairs looks like it. Oh shit. Spooky sounds too. Fuck. Won't open. It's too dark, I can't go any further. Well then oh my god. Looks like there was something there, but you can't. Come on! I need a rope. Fine. There were lots of spooky sounds in there. Oops. Uh, whoops, this is a note that I read already. Can I go around the other side of the house? There was a... The field surrounding the house stretched majestically as far as I can see. I didn't know Anthony was the owner of such properties. Okay, let's go back inside. I guess. <sighs> Only these matches could be useful. Okay, so I need to make... Oh! Oh! Okay, that's how I'll get... That's how I'll get upstairs, I guess. So I need to make sure I go up to things and use them. Why can't I just... Oh, man. I need to find a lantern or something. God damn it! 